Oh my gosh, it's 7.30. On Google, it said that this shop doesn't open till 9. But they just knocked on my door. So we're starting the process, I guess, right now. Wow. Okay. I am so parked in the way. They can't get into this first bay without getting really, really, really close to my van. So I'm gonna have to move the van. Oh boy. Oh boy. so lucky that I literally just ran out of water but I was able to make my coffee but now there's no water in the van I wasn't even able to make a full cup oh boy okay oh all right I can't do my dishes without water I don't have any fresh water <sighs> this shop They've already told me that there is a loaner vehicle that I can take. So if I do need to go down to the water meal, mill, meal, mill, I'm not awake yet. I'm kind of jittery. Um, to get water, to get fresh water, um, I can do that. And then I bought like this like funnel thing to where if I do need to use my water jugs to fill my large water tank, I have that option. I don't really know like how messy that's gonna get but it could that could be the way to go like I can make three gallons go a long way trust me <laughs> stand up <clears throat> stand up come on up 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 no 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 Stand up. Come on. Ah! No. Ah! Ah! Come on. The cool part is, I'm actually, I got a text message from, I call her my brother's wife, um, but they really have not gotten married yet. They've just been together forever. And like now this coming year, I think is the year that they're planning their wedding. And one of the wedding venues that they are choosing is literally eight minutes up the road. So if I'm able to get a loaner vehicle and possibly go for a hike today, I'm going to go check out that wedding venue for my brother and his wife, soon to be wife will always be his wife. It's his wife. Anyways, um, but now they're actually going to do, like, the legal thing, you know? Gonna get married, yeah. Gonna get married, woo! Not me. Not. That ain't for me. Okay. Okay. I'm really confused as to what's happening right now. I just gave them my keys. I guess they're pulling my van into the shop right now. This could be done today. I'm hopeful but I don't know what to do right now because I'm not, I'm not awake. I barely had this much coffee and I don't know if I'm allowed to sit in my van anymore. Jane, can you just chill, dude? I know, we're discombobulated. Okay, and there's a kitty. Oh my gosh. Red flag, red flag. All right, so I got my technician, Shh. Carlos. He's, uh, he just took a lap real quick with another vehicle. Okay. He's about to park that in a couple minutes and then he'll go ahead and come out here and take over the van. Okay, yeah. and then where do I go? Uh, you can come hang out inside with us if you want. We've actually got a, like, Rice Krispie treats and a few other snacks because we got customer appreciation week this week, actually. Oh, okay. So we've got some food inside. And she can come inside? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. We've had a we've had a number of dogs come inside. Okay. Not a, not a big deal. 
I know the yeah, kitty. But yeah, and then like I said, we got recliners too, so you can even be comfortable while you while you hang out for a little bit. Okay. Um, and then if you want to go somewhere, like I said, we can always potentially give you a loaner for a few hours. Okay. Or even just drop you off somewhere, like if you want to go to a diner. Okay. We can do that for you too. All that right, cool. Just, I hope at. Oh. Here we go. I'm not awake for this. <laughs> They're driving it so, so, so slow because they're so scared. Oh, I have a brake light out. That's good to know. Oh, oh, you're like legit gonna drive it? <gasps> no, you're joking. I mean, I guess they have to figure out what the van is doing so they have to drive it. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh my God. The van? Okay, Jigsaw came back in one piece. And you wanna know a funny thing? Tail light works. <laughs> he is such a weirdo. Why are you such a weirdo, Jigsaw? Like. Oh. Are you awake yet, babes? I know you just want the bed. You're so mad. I'm so sorry. We spotted the most beautiful flower on our walk. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. We just walked back and I just watched them move the van out of the bay. Oh, and now it's up front. So I don't know what just happened. I don't know if they just like figured it out and they can't do anything about it today. Jane, Jane, hey, pay attention, please. Oh, that poor dog that's been debarked. Holy crap, his bark is so sad. I know, babes. You're so sad. Oh, you're so sad. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Okay, this shop can't work on my van. Um, Jigsaw also is a Freightliner. He's not just a Mercedes, he's not just a Dodge, he's also a Freightliner, and they don't have Freightliner um, software to run the diagnostic or anything. So we're trying to figure out another shop that I can go to. But of course, that changes every plan that I just told you guys, just like that. Okay, so currently right now, I am just going from shop to shop to shop calling and seeing what shop can take me and fix this um and i do have an appointment at one shop but it's not until friday today is monday and then on top of that once they take my keys on friday i'm homeless i'm officially homeless they will not let me stay in my van. They're willing to fix it. They're like, yeah, we know how to fix it. Maybe we can get the parts locally, blah, 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 blah. We don't know the time frame, but you can't live in the vehicle. I have to remove everything out of my fridge, um, turn everything off and hand over the keys, officially making me homeless. I have to figure out another option. There has to be another option. They're like, I don't know what to do, but we're just gonna keep calling places. That's the plan. Okay, I called a shop that's in Mesa. Basically, well, I called a shop and then that buddy, cause like all the mechanics, they know each other. You know what I'm saying? Like it literally is the smallest world you've ever lived in. And so that shop called another shop to tell them about my van. And this shop just called me back. They're in Mesa. And they're a Freightliner diesel mechanic. Now, I know that my van is not necessarily a Freightliner. However, the OEM system does read Freightliner codes. <sighs> that puzzle again, you know what I'm saying? Um, so she said that she's going to go talk to her diesel techs, figure something out, 
um, and that maybe they can even help me try to get there because they know that the van is in drivable and I've already spent money on a tow trying to get to this shop. So I'm just kind of like, we're up in the air for the next 15, 20 minutes until I get a phone call back. Okay. All right. I have to call my insurance company. I have to put Jigsaw back on another tow truck to go literally right down this road, but they're scared of me driving the van any more than it already has because it could damage more, which I completely understand. So I'm gonna call my insurance, try to get towed there, but once I get towed there, I have to hand over the keys and I can't see it. So I have to come up with an I have plan before I call this tow truck to figure out where me and Jane are gonna stay. I'm officially homeless. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. I just sent a tow request. Um, and they should be here. It's costing me no money because it's under 15 miles. I got my insurance to give me 15 more miles of tow. Um, because I've already used it up, you know what I mean? And now I get it again. So it's like, okay, cool. Uh, and that will make it to the shop. Honestly, thank gosh, thank gosh for the strippers in my life. Because every, every, every skipper that I know has gotten a hold of me and they're like, do you need hotel pants? Do you need a car? Do you need this? So one of my friends is finding me a hotel in the area she's going to use her hotel points to get me that another friend is going to help me get a rental car just in case so i have the ability to move around um things are going to work out things are going to work out i choose my friends very very wisely i know that they have my back they're all calling trying to make sure i'm okay you know like whoo one of them even offered, he was, she was like, just t give them your van, put Jane in a cat carrier, get on a Greyhound bus, let's go to work. Head to Missouri. And I was like, honestly, girl, a Greyhound bus is like 40 bucks. <laughs> that ain't bad. No joke. Okay. 40 to 70 minutes. I can eat lunch. Yeah, I've called so many shops there all and like left messages. I've sent text messages like when I get nervous, I will rapidly do something to find a solution like I will just be like Brrr! like I don't know man. That's just who I am. That's how I am and now all of those shops that I message they're all calling me back and lo and behold every single shop that has called me back which has been three of them have told me they don't work on sprinters and they're just giving me a courtesy call back because they're letting me know that they cannot work on my van. And I'm like, it's okay, I think I found somewhere. I already have a tow truck en route. Like, honestly, if you don't answer your phone, I just kept making phone calls. <laughs> like, I just kept on going up the same street and calling every shop on this street. Bingo, I found one. This came really quickly, man. We were not able to eat lunch. So, second tow truck, hopefully this is the winner. This is how I would rather have J Jigsaw strapped up to the tow trucks. Um, there was another way that was done and a tow truck driver actually ripped my frame. I'll have to show you guys that in another clip. So you see that? That's where the tow truck driver, I don't know how many times ago, but that's where he hooked up to and he ripped my frame. It's supposed to look like uh, that hole, which is also slightly ripped, but Jigsaw has seen some tow trucks in his life. And 
jigsaw is gonna be put right here. And then we have to figure out the next steps of life. Jane, you good? Yeah? Your water didn't even spill this time. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I just learned something. So I am actually not at a shop. I am at the shop's recovery lot. The actual shop is about 35 miles into Mesa. I feel like this is the part where I really do need to start like using my Patreon for what it's worth and reaching out to my subscribers who really do care about me. Cause like, I just have one of you. And if you know who you are, you're awesome. I love you. We have great conversations on the phone, great text messaging conversations, but you're really the only subscriber that I talk to. And <laughs> I really appreciate your help. Um, I was looking at extended stays, like weeklies, and we're in Arizona, and Arizona is known for weeklies and bed bugs. But to be completely real, like, I used to live in a weekly in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I'm not opposed to staying in a weekly depending on when I get the assessment as to how long this could take. Um, that's better than paying almost $100 a night in a hotel, whereas I can go for $300 a week and stay for a whole week in a weekly with a kitchenette, you know, a place to store my groceries, a place to put my food, a place where Jane's allowed, things like that. So it's kind of like I'm just trying to level out what I'm doing right now and really make the best choice. And, um, if that in involves a little bitty bed bug, uh, we're going to buy a lot of disinfectant because nah. <sighs> that's the reality that we're living right now. And there's tons of guys showing up. Like there's tons of people. There's more people showing up, but I'm waiting for a guy that's either named Seth or Kyle. And those are very, very generic white boy names. So there's tons of white boys who have already showed up. I have practically seven off-road recovery vehicles surrounding my van, but none of them are my tech. We're getting there. It's giving me time to think, honestly. And I'm too scared to leave my van to ask anybody their actual name. So I'm just assuming that they're not Kyle and they're not Seth. That they've closed up the shop and like the music's off. It's like 9 30 at night. They just got done pulling apart my axle. It's completely completely apart in pieces on the ground. Well the pieces that were left. Um I just kind of let 
I'm like lost for words right now. I just kind of let it like play out. And as you can see, I'm in my van. I feel really overwhelmed, really loved, like just surrounded by love right now. Like, because I knew like the time was getting close. I only had so much time and I was like, you know what? They know what time their shop closes. They know what time other places around here close. Like, just don't, don't say anything. Don't do anything. Just, just roll with whatever happens. Just let whatever happened happen. And I did. And somehow, this safety net just came out. And like, I don't know. I'm like, I feel just like, there's like a flood of different types of emotions. Like I feel so grateful. I'm I feel so loved. I feel blessed. Like I feel shocked. <laughs>